Hello my brothers and sisters in nerdiness, welcome back to the Spider's Web and in this video we are opening the Dungeon Saga Origins Ultimate Pledge Extras box. Let's get in it without any further ado. I don't think there's anything on this one. I haven't looked, surprisingly, I haven't looked at the bottom of this box to see if there is anything. I doubt there being. Because all the artwork will be for the main box. No, it's just that with a little bit of um, bump at the bottom. But there is nothing there that says, gives any details of what's inside. So let's open it up and look. What do we have? Me likey, me likey, me likey. So we have a we have a DM screen. Oh yes, indeed, very nice. We have a mouse mat. We have a mouse mat um, card area. So that's for cards. Um, well, it's for the exploration cards. You discard exploration cards. And then you've got these for tokens, I think, by the look of it. Nice, nice, and very, very nice. I'm not even attempting to put that back in the bag. And then we have this. I've just realised what it is. I've not had one of these before. I made me all. <laughs> it is a right, I need to get on to uh, Mantic about this um, because it's damaged. That's a shame. Um, so I'll take a photograph of that, as well as reference them to this to this video, uh, just to show that when unboxing, one of let's zoom. Well, you can see it there. Should have both sides of the press studs in each corner. That's just got the one. Um, it's not a major thing, but it's not going to make that work right as a dice tray but by god it's nice it feels nice it looks nice oh i am impressed a bit more packaging another sheet or another package sachet of um, that silica gel so what's in here more minis, I presume. No, yes. Furniture. More furniture. And other stuff. Okay, let's put that away and get down to business. Zoom in. And tip these out of the bag. Okay, so first off, we have two racks that uh, that one's warped a buggery, but a little bit of hot water will work wonders on it. Yeah, they're both warped. A uh, little bit of hot water, melt them back, in, uh, it'll go back into the shape it was, dunk it into cold water straight afterwards. Zoom in a touch more, I think, 
Yeah, a bit more than that. There we are. So, yeah, a little bit warped. Not a problem, though. Then we have... Are you my mummy? Go on, tell me what that's from. We have one, two. Do we have any more? Nope, we have two mummies. And we have trying to see if there's any particular ones that yes the no not the okay i think those two go on there to make the iron maidens you know, may need a little bit of hot water just to straighten them up a bit but not nothing too drastic and then we've got a couple of okay have i used them for that or possibly use that as well i don't know or do they go on here not a clue not a focused either way they do need a little bit of um loving it d d d d d there we go so we have a couple of coffins we take the lid off you have the dearly departed inside and they come out <laughs> and you've got a gibbet and there is probably a way of doing this so you can put somebody in possibly squeeze it a little bit i wouldn't a bit risky you've got a little table little portable table on wheels which has a butcher's tool belt on there as well and then you've got a couple of um tables there with the manacles and the tying down straps so that's what's in that bag i like the fact that everything's coming so it's like two boxes rather than the god knows how many that came in the original dungeon saga but again the original dungeon saga was a much bigger game than this <laughs> um dungeon saga was the very first kickstarter campaign i ever backed and it sort of like got me hooked on it because it was a case of i was going on it every day to see what had been added and getting excited every time something new was added to it and another model had been opened up so we have a couple of things in here i think these bags will have the same things in both so we have what do we have so we have two big treasure piles and two smaller treasure piles and a tiny treasure pile oh no that's a that's a scalibur the sword in the stone i'll move them over there so yeah you got a scalibur there a sword in the stone we've got some treasure chests big bundle of them we have a plinth um, and on the plinth we could have um, a cushion with a orb on it is that a crown I can't quite tell it's a crown I think so we could have that on the plinth or we could have Whatever that may be. Dutnew. Um, and then we have a pile of armor. Yeah. 
Um, that looks like a bag of coins that has dropped on the floor or something. I'm presuming the other bag out of this is exactly the same, but we'll get it out anyway to have a proper look. I need to get some of these um some of these bags and I can put the tokens in them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly the same in both bags. So yeah, I'm not taking those out. Thank you. Better had just in case there's an issue. We already have had one issue. Um okay. Treasure pile. Another large treasure pile. Nothing wrong with them. Uh, treasure chests. Again, nothing wrong with those. The plinth with either the I've got a feeling that's supposed to be a chalice and a plate. Needs a little bit of TLC, all the crown on the cushion. You've got the sword in the stone there. I could go on it as well, I suppose. A bag of money spilling out. You've got your two smaller um, treasure pile and your pile of armor. Okay. No big issues with those. And next we have oh we have a couple more bags. So we might just have one. But we'll do this one first. Right, I may not need to get any bags for tokens and they have enough with these so here we have some um furniture for our dungeon and um, some big bookcases um a corner bucket a writing desk a small bookcase Pile of books that can go on the writing desk or at the side of it, and some ladders, some library, librarian ladders, which will like, belong here, as you well know. There's, there's nothing here to actually um, attach it to, um, but it's just lean up against it. But yeah, that's what was in that bag. Very nice indeed. Um, they're chunky. I don't think the hot water thing will work on them. Um, but who knows? Because there are some that's bent a little out of shape. we have in this one this is different again oh, what's in here we have a little candle holder um yeah as you can see a little bit bent never mind we have kind of a bird bath kind of thing um a big comfy chair what's this we have a little board with a sword and some scrolls on it. Here we have some candles. We have another, oh, this is an apothecary um, chest. We have a stand with an owl on it. Uh, candles. Oh, is that a candle over? I'll look at that. Uh, some bottles and pouches and things um 
Or some mirror. Magic mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of the all? And um, horologium. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But we have that. Nice. So that's it for that bag. It's a shame some of these are getting bents in storage, but not to worry. Again, it's just something that's easily remedied with a little bit of hot water and a little bit of cold water. As soon as you dunk it in the hot water, it'll go back to the way it was, then you dunk it in cold to set it off back again. And now, final bag. We That's a big bag. Two smaller bags. This is different. This is different. This sounds different. It's not the same. It's not the same kind of plastic. It's a tougher plastic that they've used for this, but it's basically doorways. There we go. We've got different doors. Uh, big double doors and some single doors. Kind of a put coins kind of thing. And that's what you've got there. And you've got, same again in this bag, uh, portcullis, um, gothic doll, where, uh, square door. Or the rounded top. And you double doors again. So, that's basically that. Oops. Then we'll all fit in one bag. I'll get as many in this as I can. And we have another one exactly the same. Um, yeah, so we have three bags of doors. I'm not going to check these ones. Yeah, better have them, just in case. Yeah, nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that one, and nothing wrong with that one. Okay, that's fine. I will stick all of these doors in a slightly bigger bag. And then I've got bags then for... Hopefully I've got bags then for tokens. <laughs> Let's not want that. There we go. We'll go over and get these single doors in. There we go. And all the doors are in one bag then. There we are. Okay, we just move some of these bags over out of the way. And what do we have here? We have oops, something just moved up. We have barrels. We have a stone throw. We have a, a throne. I would imagine that would be. Will there be a table or some such? We have a treasure chest. We have another table. Would that be a tomb then, coffin? We have a table. We have a weapons rack. Well, well. <laughs> well, well. And we have another treasure chest. But that's what's in that bag. Ah. I'll use some of these bags for the um, for the tokens. Now, what's in this bag? 
Oh, we've got some. We've got a skull. We've got We've got two skulls. <coughs> What's that? Like a rat. Three rats. Uh, we have some rubble. Did he, did he, I don't know whether you saw that then. I'm sorry. So I'll put these through again. So we have, let me say that, we have two skulls, a single rat and three rats. Huh? We have a barricade made up of crates and barrels and bits of wood and whatnot. We have some barrels, a wooden crate, some more rubble, Another barricade, some more crates, and some logs. There we go. And the final bag, I think, is some more indoor furniture by the look of it. Have to be very careful with these little bits in this bag. I think it's the same as the the first bag we opened um, with the bookcases. Yeah, the corner bookcase, and the writing desk, and the ladders, and the pile of books. Exactly the same as the first one we opened. So there we are. That's it for Dungeon Saga. All we have to do now is work out how to put everything back how it was. I will be getting in touch with Mantic in regards to this. It is a shame, but one of those things. And I will let you know how we get on. But that's it for this video. That's it for this little series of unboxing videos. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now.